Hello everyone and welcome to the Friday video. Like many of the times that I come in front of you in your homes via this, this video, I have some more resources for you that I just recently stumbled across myself. One of my greatest joys in seminary was helping to lead a book discussion with some of our college students at the university um, about the Book of Joy by the Dalai Lama and Desmond Tutu. We did this book right in the middle of COVID and we were only allowed to gather in small groups outside and it was a very different way of being together. But one of my closest friends from my time in seminary that was at the university at the time came from co-leading this book study with her. Um, and so this is a book that I commend to your reading. It's called The Book of Joy and it follows what joy means to both the Dalai Lama and Desmond Tutu. What I was not aware about until a few weeks ago was that there's also the Little Book of Joy, also written by the Dalai Lama and Desmond Tutu, a children's book based on this adult book that I have just introduced you all to. And so, Please share this book with your children, your grandchildren, your great-grandchildren. You all know how much I love children's books. And so if you don't mind, I would love to read this to you. The Little Book of Joy. One of us grew up in a little house. One of us grew up in a big house. Our houses were on opposite sides of the world. Often we were sad and lonely. Both of us wished for a friend. Sometimes the other kids wouldn't let us play or they were very far away. We wondered if we would always be sad and lonely. But when we sat still and breathed in the quiet, we noticed something beautiful. If you just focus on the thing that is making you sad, then the sadness is all you see. But if you look around, you will see that joy is everywhere. Joy is the warm, tingly feeling of the sun tickling your toes in the morning. It's the giggly, squiggly feeling when you are doing something silly. And it's the soft, snuggly feeling of being all wrapped up, cozy in your bed at night. Even when you are caught in the rain and your joy is washed away, it's waiting at the bottom of the puddle. Even if you slam the door and your joy can't get in, it's just on the other side, waiting in a loving hug. And even if there is a loud noise in the night and your joy gets scared away, it comes streaming right back with the light of the silvery moon. Joy is the bubbly, bouncy feeling of finding a good friend. And once you let joy in, like magic, your heart always has room for more. We discovered that the more joy we shared, the more joy we had. And the more joy we had, the more joy we could share. So look for the joy all around you and share it. Write it in a letter, play it on a drum, sing it to the sky. It will travel up in the air, across the ocean, 
someone will find it. And share it. And as it spreads from person to person, the world will be filled with joy. My friends, I hope that you will take some time this week, this weekend, to figure out where the joy is in your life. And maybe if you are interested, you can grab these books, either the Book of Joy or the Little Book of Joy, for you and your family to dive deeper in to where joy is and where joy can be found. God bless you.